Okay, then you remove the negative from the terminal. And we do that because you don't want to have to reactivate your radio because it's a little headache. And that was done with the 10 millimeter. And we're going to need a 10 millimeter for these little bolts here too. These are all hand tight. As you can see, one little turn got them loose. Probably like half a turn. Yep. There you go, Luke. Make sure you take off all four. Don't come back to that. All right, so as you can see, this gets in the way. The way we got around that is we just pushed it out, this little bracket, pushed it forward, and we got to it. It's easy. It's not that difficult, guys. And here, we're just going to move it away. And get in there. I'll show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Bam. There. It's loose. Alright guys, so I removed all the bolts. And now we're just going to lift this up. And boom. There's your spark plugs. the oil spillage we had a little while ago I mean you're already here you might as well clean it up a little all right guys so we removed the cap and then like I said a while ago everything's hand tight so it's just like a little crack and it loosens up you kind of screw with your hands take them off I just loosened them up a little I still have to unplug these and then um, just pull them out and replace the spark plugs. We'll get to that though. All right guys, so right here we have to press down on this tab and then um, on this little tab here, it clicks up, it's already loose. You could uh, pretty much jimmy it. You could uh, jimmy it. And you're set. It's loose. All right, guys. So on another note, to be on the safe side, if you're pressing it down and it feels like it's too much pressure and it's not going up, you want to somehow get your finger under here, put enough pressure to where it opens up. Once it's open, you kind of just jimmy it yourself. set all right so we're gonna remove the bolts here I keep them in range kind of on the same setup of how I remove them Off old bolts, and you gently turn and pull it out. Make sure this is not in the way. Make sure there's no oil spillage. Looks good. All right, guys. So you loosen it up a little bit. Loosen it this way, and then it should just be easy to. Pull right out. Alright, so easy tip. Press the button, release it, and manually turn it. Boom. Easy. Damn, these are bad. 
All right, since we pulled the spark plug out, it's pretty bad. We got the new ones here. All right, so we pulled it out the box. It's in another box. So this is what the new one looks like. It's backwards, but let's get a picture. All right, so we're gonna put this anti-seize lubricant on this. Too much. So now we're gonna feed it in. Feed it in slowly. Hand tighten it. Pull it out. You're good. I'm just playing, guys. So, make sure it's tight. So you could feel it. It got a little tight. It stopped. That should be enough. All right, guys, so I just replaced all the spark plugs. Now I'm just going to connect the back and add um, the screws. And just add the plate and the screws, and it should be good. All right, so we're just plugging these back in. Make sure they're good. And then start adding your screws back in. Remember, these are 10 millimeters. This was a 3 8 extension with the 5 8 um, spark plug. This is how it looks like, if you don't know. Again, we use a 10 millimeter for the little screws over here and these are hand tightened as well so make sure you tighten it with your hand first all the way all right so i hand tighten these first now with the ratchet just a little tight I think we should be good right there. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with that. I just added the plate back on top. I'm gonna put the screws on. Make sure they, they fit where they're supposed to go. All right, guys, so I tightened it up. And we should be good. All right, I cleaned it a little. It's still dusty. Just dusted it off a bit. All right, guys, so we're gonna, we just changed the oil. We're about to um, restart the oil life. So make sure. So make sure you're in the oil life. Press it, hold for 10 seconds. It should start flashing. Okay, now we turn the knob once to oil life. Press the button once. Everything should be glowing now. And then you should press the button and hold for five seconds. And there you go. Simple fix, 100% oil.